Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Tyranny as a Noble Mage on Hard Difficulty. Welcome back. Um, this one might be a bit of a shorter episode. Um, I've been recording all day, I'm trying to catch up after my holidays. Uh, I was thinking about not doing an episode today, but uh, sort of didn't want to let you guys um, hang out high and dry. So I'm going to do it, but uh, yeah, it might just be 20 minutes or something. I'm gonna study the arcane scroll in there. Oh, we gained the level 2 of the Sigil of Strength. Um, we do have the level 4 of this thing, but not the level 2. That's nice. Glad that we got that. I mean, that's definitely gonna give us a stronger magic. Gaptooth over here, one of the Scarlet um, Chorus, wants to talk with us. We are here in the Burning Library, if you uh, have just been sort of looking in. I wonder what that is. We could push this over so that we can bridge the gap, but for what? I don't know. Well, let's talk with her. A rough-looking woman stands in the gap made by a broken wall, turning to address you as you approach. So, the sensor didn't trust four groups to get what she wanted and sent another one? She shakes her head. More groups. Talk about an excessive use of force. She throws her hand in the air. For Cairo's sake, it's still just a library. It's not gonna get up and walk away. We have time to get to the archive. I even know where a piece of the passcode is. Tell me more about the archive. What do you take me for? Your own personal sage? She holds up a hand and starts counting off facts like a checklist. It's in the library. It's rumored to be incredibly powerful. It's behind an impenetrable barrier. We need to find the passcode to get it. The sensor is particularly itchy to get her hands on it. Problem is, she sent all of us in to get it, and only one group is allowed to claim they did. And that means a lot of... She puts her hands to her throat and mimes strangling, making a gagging noise. Such is the way of the chorus. My current problem is that Numbly's group down below... My current problem is Numbly's group down below. They're guarding one of the passcode pieces, and they can be particularly stab-happy. I don't want to cross their path with a molten pit nearby, so I'm trying to decide what to do. Hmm. We have more sages running around, but these sages, they do work for the Scarlet Chorus, don't they? I mean, they're all clad in red and stuff. Four groups, what do you mean? You know, groups who compete in the census little game, to the death and all that? She squints at you. Do you really not know or you're just playing stupid? St stupid. Either way, I'm not in the mood for babysitting idiots. Um, well, yeah, I didn't know that, that the other sages get away. I don't think I should let these sages go away. There's something to be said for helping the sages that are sort of scattered and here against their will, but these guys are not fighting either. I... Yeah, and they are, they are clad in red as well. I haven't really seen any independent sages being clad in red. I think they are part of the Scarlet Chorus. And I really don't need any help killing these guys. So I think I'll just... I think I'll just attack them. I mean, whatever. Send them! Right, okay, so I mean that means that we have to fight two more sages over there. We're gonna we're gonna get a lot of wrath with these guys. Maybe I should have let them go away, but I'm sort of sick of their their righteous their righteous ways. <laughs> they're taking they're taking Morik prisoner. I mean I could get some favor with this. Total binding. Uh, paralyzed affliction, that's pretty nice. We also have the magic seal, silenced affliction for 29 seconds. That's pretty nice. 45 seconds cooldown. Seal the target's magical energy, interrupting them and preventing them from casting spells. That's pretty useful. Both of them are good. Um, but I'm not really here to fill up any meters. That's not really my thing. I don't really want to do the power game in a role-playing game. So I'm trying to more um, do what makes sense for the characters. Right, so Lantry. Go for the healing aura. I am... Where am I? Over here. When I should just go for the empowered chaos here. Yeah, well... 
No, we're gonna go for the Mantle of Flame. You're already going for your aura. Um, Beric, try to petrify that, um, that fury. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. Okay, that did not work. Mantle of Flame hits Gaptooth. Bloodhound misses me. Um, not too happy that we have that Bloodhound over here. You could actually suspend that guy in mid-air, Ab. That was n would not be a bad idea. We're gonna go for the Empowered Chaos with me, just to get them away. Uh, Lantry... Right, well, what we could do is... We could try to drive her into this chasm, but I guess it's not a thing. Yeah, I guess it's not a thing. Might still work, though. Might still work. Whatever you need. Okay, he's suspended now. Frozen, suspended. Um, I could go for the Unsettled Core. It does a lot of crush damage to enemies. I might as well put that on myself. Okay, she's prone now. That's good. Lantry, go for the fire damage here. That looks like a thing that could be nice. Um, Ebb, try the petrification again. This is annoying. Oh, holy cow. We have that thing. <laughs> the guy's knocked prone in midair. That's sort of a uh, little bit weird. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. Let's go for this. Well, eh, no, let's, let's actually use the Dauntless. Lantry upgraded his law. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Fireball? Do I have anything in terms of crowd control? Turns out that it's a bit of a problem that I don't. <laughs> Okay, knocked prone again. Gonna, gonna have another boulder here. Okay, petrified now. So get to this petrified and badly injured. I like it. Um, Beric, now that she's badly injured, why don't you do that? And then Ab, we're gonna go with the um, Territor's Call? No. No, Territor's Call is not good, but that might be a nice thing. And Lantry, let's go for the Rhyme Spike, just because we can, and uh, I will do the same, actually. Do some real damage here. <laughs> and she's knocked prone as well. Okay, got some Control Stone. Lantry, let's go for... Yeah, we still have the Fireball. Oh, she's dead. Okay, then. Let's go for the fire here. Um, and I will go ahead and what do we have here? What do we have? Yeah, let's go for the let's go for the twisting flame. And Ab, you can go and throw a fireball on the And oh, let's let's have him drown. That might not be bad. And uh, she's still petrified. Just about. Barely. Let's go for the Phantom Bolt here. I'm hurt. I'm actually hurt. That's annoying. Let's try to petrify her once more. And Ab, let's go for the Phantom Bolt. Let's try to take that guy out. Lantry. Let's go for a healing on me. I got it. Barrack does more healing than Lantry even. Okay. I haven't taken a wound. My person is again petrified, which is good. Well done, Beric. I'm kind of impressed with your magical abilities. We'll try to bring some of the shock damage to bear and maybe the rhyme spike. And then me personally, I think I'll go with a we'll fire spell. Oh no, okay, they're dead. They're dead, that's fine. I'll try to, we're gonna try to bring them down before they come out of the petrification. Um, yeah, that's gonna happen. And I'll use the fire spell. Come on, guys. Oh, that was that was nonsensical. Not at all necessary. Let's do the cool strike. I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna just die. Yeah, right. And then we've got one more sage up there. Uh, we can plunder something from Gap Tooth. It's only a healing potion, so yeah, I guess that's fine. What's that? A bent bronze dagger? Fine, I'll take oh, that one God. as well. Just uh, save it. We still have to fight that, that sage over there. 
that is a thing that has to happen. So let's go and petrify the sage. And uh, I'll go for the rhyme spike. Lantry, you go for the rhyme spike. And Ab, you'll go for the. Yeah, you go for the drown. Let's have it then. Why not? Drowning, nice. Well done, Ab. Ab is not a exceptionally useful. Frozen. All kinds of stuff are happening to the sage. Let's do some more um, damage in that direction. Let's go for the for the strike. Lantry fire spell. Chop chop guys. Territor's call. Lots of damage coming in. Lots of damage coming in. App, let's go for the um Let's go for the fire spell. And then I'll try to throw the Phantom Bolt. And Lantry. You don't really have anything anymore, so we'll just go for the quill cool strike. It's fine then. Sage is going to be dead in uh, an instant. Yeah, why not try the petrification again? And Lantry. Do you have really no damaging spells anymore? No, you don't. Real shame. Let's try to heal Barrick then. Okay, I'm done. I still have that one. That should be rather damaging. She's doing scroll bash. That's fine. App, come on. We're gonna go for the... We're gonna suspend them in midair. That's fine. I'm done with that spell, so let's go for the jolt. I mean, that should basically finish them. Let's go for the phantom bolt here. And Beric. Let's train your let's train your stone stuff a little bit okay that was the jolt let's go for that one to train our shock damage a little bit oh yeah and she's she's gone that is how it goes nice very nice so guys let's right. let's plunder oh we can't can't plunder anyone right okay so we would have sort of been able to circumvent all these people I'll stay downwind of our What I want to do is... I want the spell that um, petrifies people. I wonder if I shouldn't just get rid of the Path of Frost. It's good, but... Yeah. I'm not sure it's, it's all too great. So, I think I will get rid of it. Um, I think we'll just sort of um, assign that one over the Path of Frost. Because it's actually exceptionally handy to have that thing sort of um, in our hands. We're gonna go for the spell surge over here, so that we have a good opener. I can go for the staggering for the staggering thing, but that is actually not that important um, because they were gonna be petrified anyways. Let's just go for high accuracy because that has a reduced accuracy. That thing, I think, plus forty accuracy and uh, maybe some duration so if i gain one more law point i'll be able to do this okay let's take down the range a little bit um just for a short time and then uh, we'll be able to actually push this up a fair bit all right okay good i like it um lantry doesn't have that spell either and we're not using that very much I might just as well go for something else. Oh, yeah, he has two spell slots. God damn it. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, I'm going to assign that to him. And what else should I give him so that he's a little bit stronger? Mm. Rhyme Spike is nice. I'm not sure if it's worth it to sort of level him up, up in terms of uh, the Phantom Bolt. He wouldn't be quite able to take that one. Mm. On the other hand, having him able to to wield all the magic schools is going to be pretty good. Um, so, yeah, let's go for that. Have the Phantom Bolt, and we're going to uh, bump that up in power. 60% recovery time. Okay, didn't know that that actually affected this as well. So if you push up the strength... You get reduced recovery time. Right. I did not know that. I did not know that the intensity actually was affecting that. That's amazing. 
just changes everything. <laughs> nice. Okay, I did not know that. We're gonna we're gonna push up the intensity and bring other stuff down for it. Um, like that. We're gonna update that one. Um, oh yeah, these this one doesn't have an intensity thing because it does not do any damage. That one does though. And I mean, pushing down the recovery time by sixty percent is just crazy. That's just crazy powerful. We're gonna go down with the range on this one. And yeah, basically push up the intensity on the ball lightning as well. Cyclical energy. We might just get rid of that one. And sort of do that. Ah, no. Tell you what, we'll just we'll just go with this. Um, rhyme spike. Let's go for some really heavy stuff. Um, and just reduce the range, I think. That looks fine. Really interesting that the intensity also changes the recovery time. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just bring down the rage on all of these things. I'm gonna push that one up. So we're gonna have more damage and less recovery time. I should be able to cycle through my spells incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. Yeah, let's take that one away as well. Yeah, well, actually, the range is sort of a little bit more important. Do that. Um, Phantom Bolt, Unsettled Core. Then we got the Twisting Flame. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. And then we got the Boulder. So let's go for Intensity. Um, bring that down. And... I mean, the precision, yeah, why not? Let's bring the precision down as well. That's amazing. I'm not sure if I can actually change all her stuff as well. I might just do that behind the scenes. Um, on the other hand, sort of being able to put all these all these spells back to back is going to be pretty good. Yeah, no, I won't, I won't do it on the others, but um, yeah. There was one horde guy over here. That we have to take care of. Yeah, over there. Two of them even. Just another group. Oh, we'll be able to get to the next level via this thing. Okay. I wonder if there's a difference if I were to use that one or the other thing. Let's just... Wait, what? Do we, do we see an enemy? I don't. Right, okay. Come on, guys. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Let's push the wall. Let's train our athletics a little bit, at least. Yeah, right. Now, for this, um, we will try to go for petrification. Um, petrification. Petrification. Wait. I'm going to pull this over. Flesh to stone. Right, we'll try to. I will aid you. So we're basically going to have four times the petrification. Trouble is afoot. Okay, right. Um, land tree. Fire spell. I will go for the phantom bolt. All my spells should be way more damaging now. I think we'll focus fire the left one. The guy on the left, just to make sure that things are happening. Um, Barrick, let's go with that one. Chop, chop, guys. Okay. And I should be back up. Where's my 10% recovery time? Oh, yeah, right. It's because of the petrification. I get that. No, the Phantom Bolt is reducing the recovery time even more. I have 70% reduced recovery time. I should be basically be able to churn out these spells real fast. So tell you what, I'll just um, sort of queue them all together and ebb we're gonna go with the um, rhyme spike and then with the fireball right. let's see if that works, I queued all those up Take that. okay petrified um, why did you not do that, come on oh, because they're dead, okay, that's fine then Let's go for it. 
And then we're gonna go for the fire spell with you. Lantry, you're gonna do the fire spell. And then I want you to go for the boulder. Will do. So that's gonna be interesting if they actually do that. Barrick, go and do the stone spell. Okay. Yeah, the queuing up of the spells actually does work. <laughs> Man, we've got a crazy amount of burst damage that we can now bring to the table. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. They're stunned and prone. I'm gonna petrify them again. Um, Ab, you will go and do this. And Lantry, oh yeah, you don't have anything to do. We're burning through our spells real fast though now. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, they're petrified again though. So, <laughs> that's kind of fun. Let's go with the... Let's go with the Empowered Chaos here. They're already wounded. Die, come on. No, nope, not quite, but they are asleep. Which is kind of weird considering. But I sort of finished them off with my own spell. Yep, they're dead. They're dead. Nice one. Okay, and they exploded for some reason. Why do they explode in fire? I wonder. What's that one? Scarlet Chorus Leather Armor. It's nice-ish. Uh, we've got something to plunder over here. We gain the scroll and a burnt missive. The contents of this missive are obscured by the page's burnt edges, but you can tell that Graven Ash was the intended recipient. The sender makes a plea for assistance, as she doesn't believe her garrison in the Blade Grave has sufficient troops to hold their location. Right. Okay. So that is proof that these um, sages actually try to disrupt um, the missives between um, uh, Graven Ash and his troops. That is another thing for treason. And. Uh, Chunan has told me to kill the sages if there are if there's evidence that they actually interfered in this whole thing. That's interesting. We'll take that. Did we not get anything for that? Burnt missive. Yeah, okay. That's the thing. Uh, we'll go we'll go slower now. Or at least not in crazy fast mode anymore. Um, let's go down. Oh, and that's, that does trigger a loading screen. Right. Okay, we're downstairs now. Um, we do have another group of enemies. We have a Beastman and Numbly. The group down below that was worrying the other... The other Scarlet Chorus person, Gaptooth. But yeah, I think I have to end the episode here. I got some, some other stuff to do. So for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.